welcome back to our first DFS Aviation Services Expert Talk in 2023. Today I have the big pleasure to talk with my colleague Moritz Manzel. Um, thank you for joining us and taking your time. Today we have a very interesting topic. We want to talk about ATM system transitions and Moritz has plenty of experience <laughs> within a very big project. So Moritz, thank you for being here. Thank you for the invite. Pleasure and looking forward to your questions. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Well, Moritz, you have been working with quite a big team on a very big system transition project um, in the last year. Can you tell us a little bit more um, about the project and who the customer was? Well, of course, uh, the customer was CAA Bahrain, mm -hmm. the ANSP of the Kingdom of Bahrain. Well, the joint mission was to bring the new Indra system into operation. Mm -hmm. So Indra uh, was installing a whole new system mm -hmm. into a new building. And the challenge was to bring that one system into operation during uh, or within a given time frame. So yeah, a big team was involved. It was uh, DFS Aviation Services Langen from the headquarter. It was, of course, uh, DFS Aviation Services Bahrain. It was CA. And of course, it was the system supplier Indra from Spain. However, um, it was one big team. We all did achieve this together. Mm -hmm. Many different people from different nations, um, I think, people with colleagues from more than 14 nations wow. were working on that project. That's a lot. Quite challenging travel and all these special things. Mm -hmm. However, we did call ourselves one big team. We Very didn't nice. specify between the Germans, the Spanish guys, Bahrain, on-site team. This does not work. And this was one of the uh, key elements of success, uh, not to distinguish between who is who and who is doing what. In the end, it was the whole team, as you said, um, transitioning one system or more than one system? No, basically it was one system, one ATC main system, mm -hmm. was a new system transitioning into a new building. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, we had one clear goal and that was a set date mm -hmm. for the um, yeah, final completion. Okay, why was that? The, because that means that you have been under time pressure as well. There was time, yeah, there was always a time pressure mm -hmm. um, because there were a lot of regional challenges. Um, for example, the um, yeah, airspace changes uh, in the region okay. and in uh, Bahrain FIR. There was, as you know, FIFA World Cup with of some course. yeah different traffic flows mm -hmm. and um, yeah, different amounts of traffic. Uh, so there was quite a set and clear goal on the, on the timeline, yes. Mm -hmm. And you did manage? Yes, to, the, whole team, the whole team was able to uh, be successful in the end. Mm -hmm. And um, the yeah, final project milestone, final step was the cutover when you changed the last time from the old to the new system. Mm -hmm. And then you continue working on the new system. Then, of course, you have a, uh, we call it a post cutover period. Mm -hmm. um, but that was also managed perfectly from all the guys and girls on site. And uh, no problems did uh, come up so far. Very good. That's the major goal as well, to keep, keep the environment and everything safe. Continuity, yes. Yeah, yes. yeah. very good. Mm. How long did the project last in the end? In the end, less than two years and wow. transition was also less than one year. So you already mentioned that there have been different steps in the, in the project line and we all know that the ATOM system environment isn't that easy. So what different steps have you been undergoing? Could you explain this a bit more? Well, in a nutshell and besides the specifics on uh, the system hardware topics, mm -hmm. um, training for example, not only operator training for air traffic controllers, also training for uh, engineers, system engineers. Mm -hmm. uh, then of course you have to provide a safety case. Um, but it's not only the safety case and it's not only about talking to uh, the safety department, it's mm -hmm. also about involving the regulator quite early to bring him on board as a department. Um, and in the end, transition planning. Um, transition planning basically means 
you squeeze in all the various different topics into a dedicated time frame. Mm -hmm. um, you have to do your trial planning. You have to, for example, if you do operational life trials, you have to still continue working or maintaining the old system still in place, mm -hmm. whilst at the same time you have to bring in air, tra air traffic controllers and engineers for that operational life trial period, couple of hours, mm -hmm. uh, couple of hours during daytime or during nighttime mm -hmm. for that new system. So you have in the end shift planning challenges as well. Mm -hmm. You have to concentrate on and there are many different steps on, on, on each and every project site, uh, but that was perfectly managed by Indra CA um, without any uh, issues. Nice. So that's a big success as well. Yeah. Yeah. What would you say, talking about success, what were the, the, the key elements to success in this project? You talked about the big team and yeah. then you saw each other as like one yeah. big team and one family, I would say. But are there other key elements? Um, yeah, communication. Uh, mm -hmm. Of course, um, it took some time until we had that special setup yeah. uh, with all people involved. Um, I think that also has to be mentioned. Uh, we had to build and form that team and of that course. joint mission and that joint goal. Uh, but communication was key to success. Involve everybody, be transparent, mm -hmm. over communicate instead of under communicate. Mm -hmm. And uh, if problems or issues arise, talk about it. Yeah, okay. Don't be silent and uh, ignore it. Yeah, okay. So that's good to know for other projects as well when you have so many people. <laughs> yeah. Well, Maurice, I have one last question for you. What would you, what advice would you give to a team like this on a, on projects, on a transition projects like this? Mm, well, you have to have a solid plan mm -hmm. in hand before starting the project. Of course, you can adjust during yeah, the project mm -hmm. uh, throughout the period, but at least have a solid plan in okay. your hands when you start. Communication, I did mention that, but at the same time, be able to listen. Okay. Listen to your colleagues, listen to safety, listen to the regulator and always listen to the regional local ANSP. Because mm -hmm. in the end, they are the ones working with the new system. It's mm -hmm. not the supplier, it's not a consultant, it's in the end the air traffic controller, the system engineer and all the various support functions with the new system on site mm -hmm. locally. Okay, so thank you. Good advices for you guys. Maybe you want to write that down. So thank you very much, Moritz, for taking your time. Pleasure. Thank you and see you soon. Yeah. We hope you enjoyed the video and maybe also the ATM system transition is a topic of interest for you. So give us a like, a thumbs up and we hope to see you soon. Bye. Oh,